part three. Now, I expect you remember that last week's winner was Peter Potty and his performing pig. <laughs> well, he will not, however, be going on to our All Winners show on February the 31st, as last week he had a rather lean week and had to eat the act. But <laughs> uh, his place will be taken by the act that came in second, that very talented soprano from Cardiff, Arthur Treader. <laughs> And so we come to our last act this evening. They come from British West Acton. They are all related to each other. They've done two command performances on the Woolwich Ferry. And they've appeared in front of the President of the United Dairies. And they are the versatile Bentwoods. Right, and here we go! Tell me, were your parents Russian? No, they just took their time. <laughs> Never mind about that then. Core miss, if I told you you had a lovely figure, would you hold it against me? <laughs> Never mind about that then. <laughs> I hope she never gets a cold in the chest. It won't want to go. <laughs> Never mind about that then. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? I am going to drink this beer. And what am I going to do while you're drinking? <laughs> <laughs> you are going to re Don't do that. Oh. You, you are going to recite the alphabet. Recite the alphabet! It's <laughs> <Cossigo>. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> we'll soon see whether it's in or, in, impossible or not. Okay. Right, ready? Off you go. Right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, B, 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 well done. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That is Uncle Henry, the Wizard of the Wheels. There you go. <laughs> oh well. Never mind about that. On with the show. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Thank you. A little bit of magic now. A little bit of magic for the. Uh, that's, the that's the idea. Right, get off. Here we are! <laughs> Here we are! <laughs> right! Don't worry, children. The quickness of the hand deceives that of the oi.
Right, now here we go. And Mother and I are going to show you how to make that lovely toy, that lovely cat, dog, or, you know, that little toy there. It probably cost you quite a lot of money in any big store over Christmas with just a few little ordinary party balloons. <clears throat> Put it down. <laughs> there we are, there we has. There we have a nice long thin body. And all he wants there is his ears. And look. <laughs> Party for the... Here he is in there, nice long straight body. I'll take a second. <laughs> oh! <laughs> New party balloon. Nice thin body. <laughs> <laughs> One thin one, thin one. One thin one, which we bend over for his thin one. <laughs> right, that's the idea. And there we have a lovely toy that would probably cost you quite a lot of money. <laughs> there we are. There we have it. That's a lovely toy. going to beat tonight's winner so far, who is Happy Max with 107. Well, we'll soon find out as we go for marks for presentation, Ted Ray. <laughs> well, you know, I come from a large family myself. Well, 14 of us, really. We used to put Mother on a pedestal. We had her to keep her away from Father. <laughs> but I must say, I like the tiny fellow. 
Reminded me of my father, Arthur Askey. Arthur Askey. He's a nice little thing. Has he really? I didn't know that. <laughs> no, I thought they were very good. Well done. And they should be. Nine. How about you, Vicky Boast? Uh, yeah. Well, I thought that the uh, singing and the dancing was uh, interesting and exciting. And the acting was quite nice, quite refreshing. Actually, terrific. But, um, you know, I've handed them all. Beatles, I've handled them, and uh, Millican and Nesbitt, I've handled them. And Kathy Kirby? No, I've never handled them. <laughs> no, I've never handled her. I've never re represented her, you know, but um, I, think, I, I think they're a very good act. They should go a long way. The sooner they start, the better. <laughs> Six. Clifford Davis. Well, now, I do know a little bit about magic myself. Now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> now you see it? No, you don't. <laughs> Sounds like a nudist rolling down a hill. No, I thought perhaps the uh, magician, the magician was perhaps just a tiny bit unlucky. I think if he'd have cut a lady in half, he'd have probably got the half that eats. <laughs> but uh, all in all, no, jolly good. I give them nine. Tony Hatch. Yeah. Uh, well, if you know, I like to play whenever I possibly can. But um, I don't know about in this case. I mean, that woman who sang, she uh, had rather a peculiar shape for a woman. Or a man, <laughs> a camel. But um, I mean, she could sing on "What's My Line" for a couple of hours and still fool them. <laughs> it seems to me that she's trying to um, emulate Killer Black, uh, Cilla Black. And I'm not absolutely sure that the world's ready for another Cilla Black. I'm not even sure they were ready for the first. <laughs> True. Right now, well, that makes uh, quite quite a lot. Uh, ah, yes. Now, um, marks for content, Ted. Well, I believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of Reckle Welsh. <laughs> Mickey Boast. No, I'd only give him half that. Six. <laughs> Clifford Davis. Oh, they were worth more than that. Four. <laughs> How about you, Tony Hatch? Uh, two. Well, that makes around 30. Well... <laughs> Somewhere around. Ted, <laughs> <laughs> star quality. Oh, I think definitely six. <laughs> six, sorry. <laughs> Mickey Boast? Uh, well, I'd like to give uh, the little old man three, give the old bird two, and the little blonde, I'd like to give her one. And then I'd like to give her one. I'd like, to, I'd like her to have one, like, you know, <laughs> make it eight in all. What do you say, Clifford? I thought the contortionist was perhaps uh, stretching things a little bit too far, but that's only one way of looking at it. All in all, a resounding success. Congratulations. I'll give them three. Dodie Hatch, are you feeling any more generous? Well, I got up at seven this morning and I came here at seven and it's uh, seven of them in the act, so I'll give them two. <laughs> Making in all 101. So Happy Max is still the winner with 107.